If you're using services such as AWS S3, Google Cloud Storage or Azure's Blob Storage, or you're hosting images and videos on a CDN like CloudFront, then you need to be familiar with signed URLs and signed cookies. Let's say you upload a picture to a cloud storage service, you get back a URL which is a web address that points directly to your image and this URL always stays the same for this image and that can be a problem in some applications. This means that anyone with that link could keep accessing the image even if it's not supposed to be there anymore and this is where you can use signed URLs. A signed URL is a specifically crafted URL that gives someone access to a specific object in your storage but only for a limited time. For example, Instagram uses URLs for images and videos. You can see that by inspecting one of their images on their website and looking at their image URL. We can see that this is a signed URL and that means that this URL will change depending on who makes this request for the image and it will also expire after some time. To create a signed URL, your server generates a pair of keys. It generates a private key that you keep secret on your server and a public key that you share with your object storage service. This private key will be used by the server to generate a unique signature based on the image identifier, expiration time and any other access restrictions. And then this signature is appended to the image URL. And when a client requests the signed URL, the object storage service uses the corresponding public key to verify the signature's authenticity. And if the signature checks out and the conditions are met, then the access is granted and you can access this image on your client's website. So that's the generation part, now let's see how it works. Initially your client sends the first request to the server and this request might be for a specific image or a page containing multiple images. Then the server processes the request and identifies the images that are needed for this request. And for each image this server generates a signed URL using the private key that it has. And after that these signed URLs are sent back to your client website. Then the client's browser uses this signed URL to make a separate request directly to object storage service like AWS S3 or CloudFront. And this object storage service uses the corresponding public key to verify the signature authenticity and grant access to these images for the client. So that's a very high level overview of how signed URLs work. Now let's see how signed cookies work. Signed cookies are similar to signed URLs, but instead of protecting just one object, they protect a whole bunch of them, like an entire directory or website. They work in a similar way to signed URLs, however, instead of adding the signature to the URL, it's included in a cookie that gets sent along with the HTTP request. So your server generates the signature based on the resource requested, the access policy and other parameters. And this signature along with the policy is included in the signed cookie. And then this cookie is sent to the client and stored in the browser. And after this step, when a user requests a protected resource, the browser automatically sends the cookie along with the request. And now the server can verify the cookie's signature by the policy and determine whether it grants access or not. And finally, let's see when is the best to use signed URLs and signed cookies. Signed URLs are great for individual files or when you want extra control over who can access which resources. And on the other hand, signed cookies are good for protecting a whole bunch of files or if you want to offer temporary access to a specific area of your website, like a premium member section and so on. And sometimes they both can be used together for extra security.